Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be playing some Super Earth Defense Force or Super EDF for the Super Nintendo, playing it from real hardware. As you can see, I'm using a flashcard. And I'm just going to play a little bit of this because I know I'm not going to be able to get very far in this specific game. Actually, I really doubt I'll be able to beat one, uh, two levels tops. Well, I played the arcade version to this, simply called EDF. Uh, way back then, I actually did a replay to, to that version, which I loved. I loved that game. Of course, difficult, as pretty much any arcade shoot them up. Well, the options, we don't have so many to choose from here. We've got normal and hard. And the shield stock, which are basically your lives, you can get up to three. From what I remember, or what I, from what I saw on, on some random YouTube video I, I looked up, uh, this game actually got um, three continues. So basically, you get nine lives to do the entire game. Here at least, compared to the arcade, I think you, I didn't remember, I don't remember you were given the option to, to choose your starting weapon. So we got Vulcan, Laser, Atomic, Homing, Explode, uh, S-Laser, I guess it's like Side Laser or something, Photon, and Grenade. Unfortunately, there isn't a demo of your ship actually shooting each and every one of these specific weapons, basically to, for you to see how they look like. You actually have to choose, and just then you will actually see how they look like. I'm gonna go for Vulcan because that's kind of like the first option you can come up with. Okay, we have Rapid Fire incorporated in this game. It is always a great thing. I already lost a life. Well, actually they call the shield basically because you take hits. But you essentially you lose your whole credit when taking three hits. So, there is no difference between sh shields and lives. The music is pretty much the same tune for the first stage as in the arcade. Okay, already dealing with enemies. Appearing from behind. Okay, I honestly already find it very hard from stage one. And as you can see, already lost a credit. Wow. Yeah, third credits, just as I thought. I told you that. Actually, I don't remember if I actually told you about it, but... I mean, I don't see myself getting very far in this version. I looked up um, some cheats, actually. Dude, already took a hit. Wow. And there's a cheat for invincibility, but honestly... I don't longer have fun... Uh, ...using that type of cheat specifically. I'd rather have infinite lives. But not invincibility anymore. Okay, you can change your... variation here. It's like, you shoot less bullets, but at the same time you are more protected from enemy bullets, looks like, because I'm sure I can always watch it again, but I'm pretty sure it got shot more than once in this current position, and it did not take damage. Yeah, I'm increasing my level, but I'm running out of credits. Actually, I didn't want to continue. I pressed another button. You know, since this is my last credit, obviously I... No, I'm not going to be able to get very far in this one. Mm. What about homing? Usually homing 
has the advantage of locking on enemies, but at the same time they are usually like the weakest weapons. There's like Blue Cheerios. Okay, actually we are having kind of a good start, even though I am on level 2 power. Apparently the progress bar keeps growing or keeps increasing, despite the fact that you, you run out of credits or you continue your game. Dude, seriously, there should have been a cheat for, I don't know, 9 credits, or 9 lives, or 9 shields, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I'm actually having an easier time with this one. And on level 2, clearly it's making a difference. I'm having a lot less of struggle. Yeah, in this position, I shoot less homing rings that actually another frontal shot wow I'm, I'm definitely having an easier time you know what I'm gonna kill myself so the idea is to wait a minute so you have up to four credits? Or did I replenish one or recover one? I don't know. But honestly, this is for the better. Dude, I wanna at least beat or get to see two levels. Uh no. Smiley face. Oh you can put long names. And I still got first place. Okay, actually this is a challenge in shoot them up and you have to like work around your your weapon setup basically to to find not just your favorite weapon but probably the 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 best to deal with in specific situations like the best weapon to have to avoid getting shot by bullets or from enemies coming from behind. I gotta say, Homin is much better than Vulcan from the little I experienced. I and honestly I do wanna know actually if you are given the chance to recover your your credits. Maybe I got an extra one out of getting, you know, certain amount of points. If that's the case, yeah, the game is still super tough from the very beginning. But still, like... Can be, like... How can I say? I don't know if beats is the word I'm looking for, but at least... You can deal with some difficult situations with a little bit of... Persistence. I mean, the fact I'm constantly shooting at an enemy, even though... I'm not in front of it... Okay, I thought I was done. And I'm about to level up on my first credit. Okay, actually the boss or mini boss times out. And leaves. This actually feels somewhat different in terms of the enemies on display compared to the arcade. I mean, I don't have like a super vivid memory out of the arcade version. Even though I replayed it, like, three or four years ago. Whoa. Okay, I remember in the arcade there was, like, a super big ship that appeared right behind it, but no. Not in this one.
maybe you have to find like the proper weapon for specific stages not for like the entire game you know I've taken only one hit so far Yeah, that panel was relatively easy. Not over yet. Second phase. Still haven't leveled up yet. I'm not saying anything because I'm kind of concentrated. <laughs> or at least I'm trying to concentrate. But it's really taking long. Oh, just as I change the the display. I managed to kill him. Maybe it could have made a difference. Alright, I got level 2. Yeah, the good thing is that even if you are losing your your lives or your shield and your credits potentially, I'm gonna continue with home and see how far I can actually can put this up. Um, even though you're losing all of that, your level actually keeps on increasing, which is like the opposite to the the gradius thing, the, the gradius problem, as it is called. I can already see like a difficulty boost. I should use these actually. I'm not really sure if they actually do something in my favor when it comes to protecting myself from bullets I should less homing rings like I said before but Okay, I have a general idea about how those guys work in terms of, you know, the attacking pattern. Oh shit. Well, I still got shot with a laser. Um, I do not want to change. Like I said, I do want to see how far I can get. I mean, if I beat this level and get to see the third one, I'll feel more than satisfied. So I reach like max level 2? I mean, I'm sure it can keep... Yeah, I leveled up. Alright, that is the, the regular position. No, I mean, this thing surrounding me doesn't really offer, like, uh, definitive protection against bullets. Yeah, of course, if I'm right in front of the ship itself, very unlike I mean, very likely I'm gonna get shot in the face. So, yeah, basically, th this game encourages you in one way or another to, like, play around with your options and see your different weapons, what see what's the best setup for you maybe in every level actually there is a different setup to be 
you know, recommended. I mean, it all depends on your own preference, anyway. This game, if I'm not mistaken, uh, got released on the uh, Nintendo Switch Online uh, service. Actually, that would be like a good instance to try to beat it since you can like save state, even though, I mean, this can be played on pretty much any emulator for the Super Nintendo that can support save stating. But I don't know, I just wanted to experience this on the real console. Of course I would like to try it either on Nintendo Switch Online with the save state option. Is it like the, the boss, the, the final boss to the level? I don't know, I felt like this level was somehow somewhat like shorter than the previous one. I'm going for this setup instead, because it shoots more bullets. And on level 3, hopefully it's going to take less time than the first boss. And the good thing is that most of these attack patterns For, for them to be effective, you have to be like right in front of him. So, for any other weapon different from the homing, or maybe some other I'm not familiar with, you're pretty much safe for most of the battle, for most of the time. So in these sort of games, I always try to go for something hopefully powerful enough, but if not, that at least gives you enough safety so you don't get hit, shot, and killed, like, so often. Like it happened at first when I was using the Vulcan. It's a nice thing that they are not actually releasing enemies from behind and that kind of shit. Okay, I cleared two stages. Losing only one crit so far. So it seems like you are actually given four crits in total. I remember the first two stages, like at least the backgrounds and the music from the arcade. But now this one? I will have to replay the arcade actually to see and make an, a, a real comparison between the versions. But so far, I, I would say like the arcade does, I mean, sorry, this one does feature a few differences. Oh yeah, the, this music is actually on the arcade. But yeah, now I remember, on the arcade, I don't know if that was the f second or third stage, but this one is featuring a cave. I remember in one of the stages on the arcade, the one that featured this music precisely, was like a weather stage. Like it suddenly rained, then stopped raining. But yeah, I remember something about, like, weather. Like, raining while playing this music. At least I remember that much. And this one is different already. Okay, one thing I noticed, apart from that I'm leveling up, looks like. Oh, shit. Um, or about to level up, or maybe... Oh, yeah, you can get up to level 4. And I'm shooting triangles now. That's sick. And uh, I recovered a point of the shield. I don't know if that's granted from extra lives. I already lost it because I didn't see what actually shot me. Okay, I, I'm not even looking at this properly. Yeah, I was kind of celebrating the fact that I got an extra point, but... Immediately after that comment, of course, I jinx myself, like I usually do. Um, but yeah, I mean, sadly some random enemies were being super annoying. Even though I'm leveling up, enemies are actually taking longer to kill.
Stage 1 and Stage 2 were relatively easy with the homing. Because, like, you moved like... Uh, these guys right here actually caused me trouble. They explode. These guys also are a little problematic. Yeah, here's the thing, I don't know if I'm shooting them. Now I am. Okay, actually now I should focus more on dodging bullets. Which is something probably I didn't do when I lost all of my shields. Yeah, it's like those guys that are surrounding the enemy shooting me are taking the shots. I know the real enemy. Okay, this is where I actually lost. Yeah. Okay, we are already dealing with some bullshit. I got the feeling that sooner than later... Oh my god, okay. It's one of those enemies. Sooner than later, the homing will stop being 100% effective or safe. Yeah, they, they do that kind of bullshit. It's like they shoot you in 360 degrees and basically give you no space to escape. Last credit. Hey, at least I accomplished more than I really expected or well I mean know what I want I mean I would like to actually get super far but yeah now they're featuring enemies that are not like 100% vulnerable if you are below them or behind them so I see some anti-homing enemies being featured in this level like yeah the, the, the point I was making this guy right here uh, here's the main enemy but there is a uh, these two guys surrounding him but when you use the homing it also focuses on the the little shields not on the guy so obviously it takes longer to kill this one right here because of that. Oh, it seems like there are three different formations for your ship. Alright, for the first time I actually dodge all of those bullets. See? This guy is not vulnerable anymore like this. I'd rather do that, like, soon. And this is a, a mini-boss, not even the real one. I mean, I can tell that because of the music. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's completely vulnerable now, but of course. I had the magnificent idea of being right in front of him. 
and take that shot when it was totally unavoidable. Okay, I know the random thunder. Here's the real boss. Yeah, another case of... So far, at least, that I kind of have the perfect weapon for this. So I don't actually have to go down and expose myself so much. And also, I'm causing a lot of slowdown, so that helps. Oh, you cannot destroy those missiles? That's bullshit. That should not be a thing. And at some point, these missiles will surround me to the point of... Basically making me take a hit eventually. But I think for safety or as as far as safety is concerned, oh, you can destroy those missiles actually if you shoot them enough. But yeah, in terms of safety, actually this is pretty safe compared to what you probably will have to do if you use Vulcan or some other. But again, this actually can grant you some sort of replay value considering that the experience can improve if you know what each of the weapons do and see how they work in specific levels. Alright, here comes the second phase. First one was pretty safe, except for that, those little missiles. Okay, 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 now we're dealing with some big bullshit. The guy is constantly being exposed, but so I am. So am I. I don't know what I'm gonna do actually when... Oh, actually I do have like, bombs. Don't I? Oh, did it win? No, not yet. Too soon to celebrate. This looks like a Darius boss, really. Okay, he's not attacking until now. Okay. Actually, you can you could have been like above him actually, and you were safer than being below him. Oh shit! Okay. It's it's all a matter of basically playing the game enough to to end up memorizing it. I'm about to reach level five, if there is a level five to begin with. Like I said, we're gonna continue with the homing for as long as we can. Okay, you get all of your shield refilled in between stages. That makes sense. And it's fair. It's basically recovering two extra lives. And I immediately got shot by something. Oh my god, it's getting ridiculous now. Hey, I got to see four stages. It's more than I could have imagined. Because I I, I saw like a video to, to this and I realized... Yeah, they give you three shields and three credits. It's like... Dude, it's tough. But you can work on it and, and eventually get something out of it. Look at this background. Mode 7. Yeah, it's, at, at this point the game is a 
sort of bully hell. Look at this mode 7. No, this wasn't on the arcade, by the way. Obviously. Like, the levels were similar, but not identical. That, that's what I can tell you, actually. So I reached level 5, but this looks pretty much like level 4 homing. Now, that I see, like, in detail. Except for the early part of the level, the rest is pretty manageable with homing. Homing is especially good against enemies, like massive amounts of enemies coming from front, from the front and from behind. Yeah, definitely game over. Dude, I lasted half an hour dude I mean except except for that reset that I had to do but hey I mean I'm more than satisfied I'm not gonna lie and this is definitely um, a game that I would like to replay a, a, a port at least because again I've done the arcade a bunch of times and of course you can quite fit through it and you can like easily overcome it but um, this one in particular is like a good game to play and replay and re-experience and test different weapons on. Even with the homing alone, the, the boss pattern especially and, and some enemies in particular that look very top at first are very, very manageable in the end. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.